The next thing we're going to look at is how to create assignments. And there's a few different categories that we're going to be looking at. Um, starting first with just how to create an assignment. So in Canvas, on the left hand side of the screen, in the menu, I have assignments. When you're in assignments, you can see that there's a category called assignments or a group. And this is important for teachers to help them organize their assignments, especially if they're doing weighted grading categories. But you might choose to use this for the different types of um, things that you might be sending out to your students. So maybe you have presentations as one sort of group or category that you might do, and you might want to organize your assignments into that particular group. To add groups, you're going to click on plus group, and then you can type in the name of the group. So that could be presentations and press save. You can edit. So this one that says assignments, if I click on the three dots, I can edit it and change the name. And I could also move them around if I need to. Now, I want to create my first assignment. So I'm going to click assignment. So the first thing I'm going to do is give the ass assignment a name. So it might be counselor presentation. Then down here, I have the rich text editor box that allows me to add in text, to um, have numbered list, have links, etc. And what you want to do is make sure you have clear directions for the students of what they need to do with this specific task. So I like to use the numbered list feature. And I might tell my students to um, review the slides for the presentation. And then you might have them um, respond um, with a summary and questions that you have. Now, I could take the presentation, so I could say, and I'm going to go over to my Google Slides. I'm going to click Share. And Google has changed things, so I want, right now it's restricted, only I have access to it. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to click where it's restricted. And I'm going to change it to anyone with the link can view. Now, the reason I did not choose Sequoia Union High School District is because students have to be logged into their SEQ account in their browser that they're using. Um, and most students are, but sometimes they're not. And you also will have parents potentially looking at this and resources if you're doing a college presentation. And you want to make sure that the parents can view it as well. So I always put anyone with the link. And I forgot to copy that link, so I'm going to click copy the link. And then I'm going to go back into my Canvas assignment, and I'm going to highlight where it says link to presentation. I'm going to click on the hyperlink, it looks like a chain link right here. And I am going to paste in that share link. Then what I can do is go down to the part here where it has points and category, etc. I would make everything zero points. The assignment group, this is where you can choose if you want it in that group category that you created, presentations. Display grade. Now, um, if you say not graded, you will not be able to monitor whether students have completed this or not. You can do points and you can have zero points. I like to just choose complete and complete, but really it doesn't matter because you're not grading it, but you just want to see whether they have um, done the assignment or not. And so in order to be able to track assignments, you do need to have it as some sort of assignment. If I say not graded, students can't submit anything. So I am going to, again, complete, incomplete, or points. I could say I don't want it to count towards the final grade, but it really doesn't matter if you click this or not because there is no final grade. Submission type. So no submission means they're not turning in anything. If you leave it as that, you will not know if they've watched the video or if they've looked at it. So you are going to choose online. And you can do a text entry, which they'll be able to answer or type in any questions that they have or write that summary. Then um, if you wanted students, let's say you had an assignment for them, 
to register for the PSAT or sorry, the SAT, and you wanted them to submit their like a screenshot that they did it, you can do a file upload. If students are creating something, you can do a website URL or it could be a media recording where students can record their audio or video like you did on the home page. So you can choose different options. Um, if you just want it to be a resource that they look at, that could just be an announcement and not necessarily an assignment. But I'm going to go down here and then the assign to this is where you can choose who to assign it to. Everyone is every student in all of your sections or courses that you have. In this, I don't have any sections, but you might see your ninth graders, 10th graders, 11th and 12th graders. And you can assign it just to the ninth graders or just to the 10th graders. However, that works um, at your school site. I'm not sure how you set up your canvases, but you'll see different sections. And you'll also see all of the student names who are in your course. So you can assign it just to three students if it's something that you want only a particular group of students to see. You do need to press a due date, whatever that might be. By default, it's 11.59 p.m., but you can type in a specific due date or time. The available from and, and the until is something that I don't use often. The available from would mean that students can see the assignment, but they, when they click on it, they can't really see what the assignment is. It just says, this has not been unlocked by your teacher yet. It is not available yet. So you can create something in advance and publish it, but students can't view it until the particular date. The until is students will still be able to see the assignment. Like if I say until Friday at three o'clock, students will still see it next Monday, but they won't be able to submit anything in it. So I generally just always have left these blank. Then um, if I wanted to assign it to like all of my ninth graders, I could choose ninth graders here. I can click add and then I can choose like three other students and I can give them a different due date because maybe they need extended time. I can click here ninth and 10th in this one line and have one due date and 11th and 12th have a different due date. So you can play around and you can add different things to kind of separate things up a, bit, a bunch. Now down at the bottom, save saves the assignment and it's not public to the students. Save and publish would be, okay, I'm all done. I'm ready for my students to see it. So it also will not show up in your grade book where you can check student progress until it's published because obviously it needs to be published for students to see it and to do it. Um, so you can choose when you're ready to publish it. So I'm gonna say save for now and not publish it. Now this assignment is ready to go, but again, not published. I just have to click publish when I want my students to see it. I can edit to click publish or I can just click publish right here and now it will be visible to my students.